So hi, and welcome back to Time For You, where you could just put your feet up, grab a tea, sit back, and enjoy some moments for yourself. Um, I'm Shelia Stevens, coming to you from just around the corner from Frankfurt am Main in Germany. This is Leah Wernli from Zürich in Switzerland. Hey. Hello. And Leah and I were talking today and we were kind of reminiscing um, about where we started on mm -hmm. this journey, how this list of people or this community of English speakers even came to get to know us with My Secret Life. And, you know, back then in um, mm -hmm. 2020 or like right when COVID was starting, mm -hmm. um, it was like a time for us where we really were interested in the very first insights that people had had that started to shift and change everything in their, their perception of being human and life and, you know, our spiritual nature. And what we want to talk about today is like a little bit further down the road mm. um now what it feels like what it looks like to be on this messy beautiful crazy human journey um with this understanding kind of like in our pocket mm -hmm. so to speak and i I don't know about the listeners out there, um, what their life has looked like, but, you know, Sid would say about human life that it's a, a full contact sport. And I mean, who knows what Sid ever meant when he said anything. Sometimes I listen to his recordings and I'm come away. Like I have no idea what he <laughs> was trying to point to, but what I, what I think he meant was, you know, there's, there's sort of like the outside life mm -hmm. with, where things I'm doing quotation marks where things happen. And since 220, um, I've lost loved ones. Um, mm -hmm. I've had huge shifts in my business, like where I felt lost. Um, I've had some really kind of long going illness situations um people in my family got cancer mm -hmm. um just human life um wars broke out in that time leah mm -hmm. in in the ukraine and now in israel um not to mention all, anyway all the stuff that's going on in africa and mm -hmm. india and human life it's um just from that perspective, uh, a full contact sport. Mm -hmm. And then there's the full contact sport that's going on inside of us. Mm. You know, it's like you could have the most abundant life on the outside, you know, with a, a house and a car and food on the table and good mm -hmm. health and nothing going on that looks in any way problematic on the outside but inside of yourself you could be in a state of turmoil mm -hmm. um maybe your thoughts have just gone into a crazy storm uh, ongoing and you have just been looking at it a lot and thinking it's real so that's the other Mm -hmm. kind of you know mm -hmm. full contact sport like the inside sport mm -hmm. it's like rugby <laughs> and that's what we want to talk about today like how how this understanding helps and just that that sort of a human life so mm -hmm. that's the start off point Leah and I'll see where you take that What just came to me is probably 
a slight misunderstanding that can occur when you find the three principles or when you've been touched by it or when it changed your life because you had an insight for yourself. The misunderstanding could be that you can avoid the contact sport or mm -hmm. the humanness or the human experience. Mm -hmm. And that's not an offer at all. Mm -hmm. And what I sometimes see is that little mind, our head, then plays the three principal police role. I should know better. Why am I feeling bad when I know the principles? Why is this happening to me even though I follow my intuition? Mm -hmm. And that looks so appealing or <laughs> to believe this thoughts but they're not true they're not truer than other ones it's always just thinking in the moment about life mm -hmm. happening and these three principles thoughts They can be so heavy. And it's just so helpful to realize that we remain human with all of it. Mm -hmm. with all the feelings, all the emotions, everything. And we have in every moment the possibility to come back to the present and to this moment. Mm -hmm. And that's for me always, not always, it, it's a doorway out of strange, miserable thinking. Mm -hmm. And often... It calms this outer and inner turmoil in a way when I realize where I am and fresh thinking occurs. Mm. And then I start to see again, oh, effing hell. That's the beauty. That's the truth of the design. And... It's always only in the moment and not tomorrow and not yesterday and not solving problems in my head. Mm. And I don't know why, but I mean, I'm very human too. I <laughs> make a lot of mistakes. Um I'm very bad at certain things. Other people are way better than I am. It, I, at the moment, I'm, I even think it's sometimes luck that I just often remember. And, My little mind crashed a few years ago, really. And it did build up again. But I'm extremely grateful that it didn't fully come back <laughs> in a way. It did, but really not fully. Mm. And... I'm, 
I fall asleep too, but very often it's just one eyed. And the best I can do and is to bring that to you too and to be present with all the people I love, including mm -hmm. myself, with this awareness and trying to to share that and see it as a huge, huge, huge gift. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing that I do. It's somehow something at the moment that is. And a big part of how I'm in life is to remain alive and not asleep and to follow the notches that come through and mind that has the hands on my back and trust that that it's serving the world and mm. in a way mm. Yeah. That was yeah. rambling. <laughs> no, I no, that was not rambling. That was that was truth. Truth, truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was so good, Leah. You know what I, I just loved about that was it's so simple. Like, really, like I'm just gonna repeat what you said. It's like staying in the present moment instead of getting into like a made up future outcome or fear staying in the present moment instead of um you know getting our hands in the mess of the memories of the past um just being here and now and then you you said something that you know the difference that makes a difference is in that moment of you know a quiet mind in the present moment we get that guidance or that that fresh thinking and you you know how you know how i am leah i like to make things concrete a mm -hmm. little bit yes it's where, that. The, it's where the personal stories mm -hmm. you know come in that we talked about from the last time you know i was just saying in the beginning you know someone in our family just has a, a cancer diagnosis and with this understanding in my pocket i just know it's not necessary to make up you know things about oh how sick he's going to be when he does chemotherapy and um it doesn't entice me to you know worry about him losing all his hair or mm -hmm. or how hard the drive is going to be there every week to be with him um you just, when you stay in the present moment, you just kind of take things step by baby step by baby step by baby step. And there's so much um, ability in the here and now just to like enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just have a nice, lovely phone conversation, um, embrace like what is still there and or you know with the things going on in the world right now they can, mm -hmm. and you know it's just coming in all the channels you know on I watch a lot of YouTube and Instagram much more so than television but some people you know get it via television or conversations with colleagues or television or um, radio just you know like you said Leah coming back to the present moment mm -hmm. being where you are right now in the world you know and just being an appreciation of your li alive life mm -hmm. you know from from that loving energy being in the world right where you are 
noticing if there's anything for you to do, if there's any fresh thinking around something to do or not, Mm -hmm. you know, it, it makes a world of difference, um, than living in a, um, perpetual state of fear and dread of the state of the world, just as Mm -hmm. an example, just as an example, right? Mm -hmm. So I love, I love that you said that Leah, because I mean, it, it's so simple, but it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. Just coming back to the present moment, seeing, seeing what's fresh on offer taking a tiny step from there or not Mm -hmm. yeah and it is so simple and it it's so helpful that i know that we know how to navigate and i mean it blows my mind every single day it does that we have feelings that immediately show us where we are Mm -hmm. as you said present in life or up in your in our effed up little head yeah and it's okay to be there and it's okay to feel it and it's okay to to feel pressured and anxious and stressed and to see and feel and wake up to it again and to come back and we will we will remain in this stance there is no way out that's the human experience mm-hmm. and it's okay but when we know about how we function and who we are and even if it's just a little, small, tiny, tiny glimpse, it opens up a, a door to a different world. Mm-hmm. And in the present moment, there is very often a lot less to do than we think. Doesn't mean that there isn't anything sometimes there is and it's always an insight for us for this moment that is helpful and this little tiny step we can take and it's a muscle it is There is something to do. I was the one who said there is nothing to do. But actually I was wrong. There is something to do. And it's to be aware. And to. To take the step. And to. Build the confidence in. The knowing. Mm -hmm. And did grow over the years because when I didn't listen I most of the time I ended up in a bigger mess than uh, before and when I started to listen it the path just unfolded gently in front of me isn't that Mm. amazing Mm -hmm. and is it always like my head envision or dreams about or (laughs) sees itself in the world as you know Shelia no No. not at all (laughs) (laughs) but I really that's just not the place where I want to give a lot of attention I'm not interested in that part. Mm-hmm. Or less and less and less and less and less. And sometimes I am and that's fine too. Mm-hmm.
but the journey being in life instead of being in my head is so rich and beautiful and alive. Mm. Yeah. Those sound like beautiful closing words for this episode, if you agree, Leah. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that, Leah. That was beautiful. Thank you for the practical life examples (laughs) they're always good together (laughs) i always think i'm the practical but somehow (laughs) Hmm. i don't know (laughs) i don't know i don't know either i don't know i don't know but we what we do know is we wish you a wonderful Mm -hmm. rest of your your day your evening Mm. whether whenever time you're listening to this and um thanks for taking time for yourself to look in the direction of um more inner peace and well-being and and nurturing that space and we'll see each other in the next episode or to hear each other in the next episode (laughs) bye